Learning to hear God's voice can be quite frustrating, and I know that from personal experience. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to hear God's voice and know that it's actually Him. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you build a more loving and beautiful and fulfilling life through self-mastery and spirituality. So I've been on this journey of seeking God for a few years now. Now, I did grow up in the church as a Catholic, but it was never something I really pursued until the last about two years. And in that time, there were a lot of frustrations that have come up and that I'm sure will continue to come up on this journey. But one of the biggest ones for me was just feeling like, why is God speaking to everyone but me? Why can't I hear this voice that everyone talks about? And then it happened. And so I want to share that story with you and so that you can get a better understanding of how to know and how to seek that voice from God. So I was attending this church for about a year and a half. And for some weird reason, I always left early. Now it was about a two hour service. So it was very long because you'd have about an hour of worship and then an hour of, you know, the, the pastor or preacher or whoever speaking. And so I would get through the hour of worship about halfway through of the sermon. The one night I used, I, I would go on Wednesday nights. I'm walking up to the building and I'm like, okay, God, like I'm here, I'm here. Like, tell me whatever you want to tell me. Like I'm listening and I will listen to whatever you say. And this voice came from inside me and it said, stay until the end. It didn't sound like our inner voice when you know, you're know you just thinking thoughts or whatever. Like it was like this deeper voice. It came from a, I can't, I don't know how else to explain it is that it came from deeper within me. And it was a very commanding voice and it was very deep, direct and quick. And so it kind of caught me off guard, but then, I, but then of course I was kind of questioning it. Like, you know, whatever, it's just like my own, voice in, inside my head like telling me that and I was like yeah 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 and then I heard it again stay till the end and it was so direct and I was like oh my god oh my god that's God ah, like he's talking to me <laughs> and so that was well over six months ago that that happened so it took me a while to be able to understand where this voice was coming from and how to separate God's voice from what I perceived to be my own inner voice. And since then, while it's not always easy for me to understand or to hear God's voice, it's become a lot easier as I start to separate those two voices. I believe that we hear God's voice when he wants us to hear it, okay? It's not on our timeline, it's not on our demand, and I think that was a huge thing that I needed to learn because I would hear all these other people saying, oh, I heard from God, and God said this, God presented me this, I got this download, I got this revelation, I got this visualization. And it frustrated me because I'm just like, well, I want to hear God. <laughs> I want to get visuals, I want to see miracles, I, wanna, I want all of these things that all of these other believers were getting. Okay, and it started to become more about what I wanted and not about listening to what God wanted for me. And I think that's the other big thing when you're trying to hear God's voice is don't give up on it. Because look, like I've been there, I've been frustrated. I get mad at God quite frequently, okay? Especially studying the Bible, I'm like, what the heck, okay? And that's okay. It's okay to be frustrated. And that was something that I'm still learning is not having that fear that I'm not allowed to be upset. I'm not allowed to be frustrated. You know, just the other day I was saying, well, you know, God, if you want me to seek you more and you want me to know you more then like, that's on you. And I was all frustrated, but that's the thing. It is on him. It's not on us. We can't demand to see a miracle. We can't demand to get some type of revelation. We can't demand to hear God's voice. But what we can do is continue to pursue it, is continue to listen, is to continue to understand the different ways in which he is speaking to us. And the thing is too, is I think it's different for a lot of people. You know, some people like myself, we hear him. And, 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 and the thing that I was thinking was, is that before it happened, I thought it would come from outside. Like if another human was speaking to me, that's how I expected to hear God's voice. When in reality, when I finally heard it, 
it actually came from inside, which makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, God is within us, so why would we expect to hear some grand deep voice from the sky? You know, of course it's gonna come from within, at least for me. Whereas I know other people who have witnessed and performed miracles through the Holy Spirit, and that's the way God speaks to them. And then there's times where we get these revelations or otherwise known as downloads that seem to come out of nowhere. That's God speaking. And another thing too is, you know, when we think about miracles or when we read the Bible and, and read about these, these miraculous things that happened, you know, back when Jesus was on earth and even prior in the Old Testament, we expect those things to happen and they do. They do still happen. But what we fail to often see is that miracles happen every day if we're looking for them. So what do I mean by that? Here's another way God's speaking to you. Say your mortgage or your rent or something is due and your account balance is like 50 bucks and you don't know how you're gonna pay it. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get some random check. Some company, you know, you overpaid some company and they sent you something back. Or something happens and then now you have those funds to pay for your rent. Okay, that is a miracle. That is hearing from God. And I think we, we tend to take for granted all the ways that he does show up in our daily lives because we are so directly focused on how we believe we should be hearing from him. And so that's, so we're almost like tunnel visioned in into thinking that's the only way we're gonna hear from him but it comes in so many variations and that's what's so beautiful about it. So I invite you to step out of that tunnel vision and be more receptive and open your mind up to all of these different possibilities that God probably already is speaking to you like he was for me. I just wasn't, I wasn't listening. I thought I was, okay, but I wasn't. And so something practical that you can do to be open in hearing the voice of God is at the end of every day, write down all of the positive things. I don't care if it was finding a penny on the ground. Write down all the positive things that happened to you that day and see God's hand, see God's voice in those little things, in the big things, in all things. And as you start to hear him in whatever way he speaks to you, you become a little more tuned in each time. And then you hear it easier and easier and easier. I don't do many God or Christian focused videos on this channel, but God gave me a direction today. Okay, I didn't have to script this video. He all of a sudden this idea all of a sudden this idea popped into my mind to make a video and it was my choice to listen to that download to listen to that direction to listen to his voice and sit down today and film this video for you but you see if i was still focused on hearing him the way i perceived that he would speak to me i would have missed it I would have missed it and not been able to share his message to you that came through me. Okay, he wants to share this with you and he's using me to do it. However, I had to be open. I had to be receptive to listening to him and doing that and sharing this with you, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope you found value out of this video. If you do want more videos like this, let me know below. I am always listening, I'm always here for you, and I just want to make content that will expand and bring more fulfillment into your life. I love you guys so, so much, and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.